All right, so this is probably one of the best upgrades available for the Steam Deck out there right now. And it only costs $30 on Amazon. I do have an affiliate link below. This is a Hall Effect joystick kit. It includes everything that you need to really complete it within, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And it's just a plug and play replacement of the stock joysticks. Why would you want to replace the stock joysticks with Hall Effect joysticks? Well, for me, I pushed down on my sticks pretty hard when I play, and I started to feel some drift occurring on my sticks. Since the stock Steam Deck sticks are analog, it basically determines your input mechanically. The Hall Effect joysticks use a magnetic sensor instead of an analog sensor. This leads to less wear because there's less moving parts and in general a higher level of accuracy can be achieved. So I'm going to walk you through the installation for the Ghoulie Kit sticks that I've got here. I think these are probably the most common ones found right now. Alright, so first thing you want to do is go to your settings, go down to system and check your controller ID. You want to see if it's MHDA or MEDA. For MEDA IDs, you want to make sure the switch is set to A on the board. And for MHDA IDs, you're going to set it to B. To take the back plate off, you need to remove these eight screws. The kit includes a couple of these different blue colored pry tools. I ended up only using the guitar pick looking one. I found that there's a gap where it fits right where the triggers are. It's easy to maneuver the tool here and pry open the cover without causing any damage. All right, so the cover's off. Make sure you have all eight screws in a safe place. Next, you wanna pull up the cover for the joystick ribbon cable and remove the cable from the blue tab. I tried to use the tweezers, but I ended up using my fingers, it's fine. There are three fastening screws. Go ahead and remove those. Once you remove the stock joystick, go ahead and insert the Ghoulie Kit joystick. It's a plug and play fit. You just need to refasten the same three screws. Then you want to reinsert the ribbon cable and close the cover. Then rinse and repeat on the other side. All right, so before putting it back together, go down to settings, controller, and then go ahead and test all the inputs. Make sure everything's working and functioning properly, getting recognized. Once you confirm all that, go ahead and go to calibration and advanced settings. You can go to the joysticks option and then test the drift and also adjust your dead zones. I was able to reduce my dead zone quite a bit on each side. Okay, so I've shown you the installation process. The difficulty level is not that high. It's not that time consuming. The kit actually comes with all the tools you need in it. And I got to say, the sticks feel awesome. There's less resistance feeling when you move the stick, so it's easier to make precise movements for me. I really love the shape and the texture of the stock Steam Deck joysticks, and they've mimicked that to the T. I can't, I can't tell any tactile difference between the Ghoulie Kit pads and the stock pads. So... I was worried that they would feel worse because I really like the stock ones, but it feels just like it. The movement just feels better on it. So there's less resistance, less friction, and I feel like I can make more precise movements with it. So would I recommend this upgrade to anyone with the Steam Deck? Absolutely yes. I think it's definitely worth $30 to increase the longevity of the joysticks, increase the accuracy, and in my opinion, it enhances the feel of it as well. So there it is. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I got some more Steam Deck stuff coming up soon. Stay tuned. And as always, thank you so much for checking out the video, for all the likes and the comments, for checking out any of my other content related videos and playlists, for everything, for all of it, uh, for, for being part of my Discord. I really enjoy every interaction 
and I'm so grateful for any time you spent here or for any participation within my community. So thanks again and have a good one, guys.